show your support, like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome back to the channel. This past Sunday, myself and my other half Karina, who you may have seen on the Tied Together demo video that we did a little while back, went to the Norwich Gaming Market with Pokey Pidge and his other half Tasha. And you may have seen her on his recent Pokemon Battle video with her as well. And this is just a quick video just to show you what we saw and what we got up to while we were there. Enjoy.
I understand all of that. <laughs> Wait, you tell me you don't? This says, this is <laughs> no toy. <laughs> Please do not eat this. <laughs> oh, that green one looks... Oh, Which man, I should have bought my one. Maybe. That is the one I want, though. Please do not go to the doctor. Woohoo! Yay! Oh, so pretty! I don't know where I'm going to put it. Is it a key? one of those old school phones. <laughs> yeah. It's like a guitar. Oh, <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> her, it's her moon moon crystal oh, star. Oh, that's cool. I can't remember the exact name for it. It's from the Super S series, which is one of the series that was never dubbed. Where's my 22 pounds? Here's us. Here's, I, I really believe, Kirby. Yeah. I think yeah. that's what that, that is. Yeah. I got my little ball before. And my terrarium, which I can't unbox because they've taped it. And it's glass. <laughs> and yeah, it's we'll leave that. Glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you not get out of the plastic? Yeah, well, no, not the box, I mean the actual bag. Yeah. <laughs> I like the fact that it's come in a protected case. Mm. This, I mean, 25 quid, you can get the case as well. Oh, no, it's taken over 20 years for there to be what's a Facebook thing. Retro pop game. Love it. And they had they had five Sony Wave ones and none of them were the main five. <laughs> I'm gonna pay this now tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, three pounds. Well, that's what I mean. That's why I want a DS. This is Pokemon Pinball, which is standard. <laughs> this is a completely fake fan-made game, which I've never heard of before, and I'm going to play tomorrow. Oh, can't even What is it? Arcoiris. Pokemon Arcoiris. Which is apparently a Game Boy Advance remake of the GameCube game, um, Gale of Darkness, which I've also never played, but I've been looking for. <laughs> and then that's just a very, very, very tiny Lego. Um, of all the ones to get, Bulbasaur! Oh, oh, oh. My favourite. I mean, trying to do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Imagine. I think Bulbasaur is going to be tough to be honest. Oh, that's cool. So, this is Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, on the first time he meets Sephiroth, I believe. Because um, obviously he fights him more than once. Even though, like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the problem. And then, the best part of the day for me, of. That's pretty I freaking love that. And as well as those bits and pieces you saw on the train, I also have three other things to show you right now. Three games that I managed to acquire whilst I was there and hopefully we'll be incorporating them into the channel very soon. First up is WCW Mayhem for the PlayStation. Now this is my first WCW game that I have personally owned. Had a couple of the N64 games back in the day that I'd borrowed from a cousin, but this is the first one that I have bought. Who knows, maybe that will be the subject of WrestleGamia 3. I will let you know nearer to the date of that coming back. The second game in question is the SNES version of Super Mario Kart. And with this, myself and Pokey Pidge now have all of the Super Mario Kart games on their kind of main consoles. Obviously there's this one, the start of it all on the SNES. He owns the N64 version. I have got the Double Dash version on the GameCube and he has got the Wii and the Nintendo Switch versions as well. So now that we have finally got those kind of main five games, we will be looking to do a Mario Kart collection of collaboration videos in the very near future. And finally, after many years of sort of searching for a reasonably priced version of this game, I have finally managed to acquire the Twin Snakes. For those of you that may not be as aware, I am a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. I have played the original version of this, obviously on the PlayStation 1 to death. 
I have got the, uh, the, the sequels that are on PlayStation 2, including the Substance and the Subsistence versions of um, MGS2 and MGS3. I even got the Acid games that came out on the PlayStation Portable when they first were released. In fact, the day I was going on holiday, back when the PSP was released, I actually went to a game store at midnight for its opening in order to get my PSP and my copy of Metal Gear Acid so that I could actually take them on holiday with me. And my family pretty much didn't see me for the whole weekend because I was just engrossed in that game. I absolutely love Portable Ops and Peace Walker as well on the PSP. About the only game I haven't tried is Ghost Babel and that's purely because I do not own and never have owned a Game Boy Color. I have seen plenty of footage of it online and quite like what I see to be honest of it. Considering the age of it and considering the hardware that it was on it looks like a pretty damn good game. So that just left the Twin Snakes. It was the only game that was kind of eluding me. You may or may not know, I even went as far as to get Metal Gear Survive as well. Really just to try out the Fox engine again. I've been a huge fan of the series for as long as I care to remember. And what I want to do now is just have a little bit of a taster of the Twin Snakes. Just to kind of see how things play out. And who knows, I may do a full playthrough series of this, similar to what I did when I played through Metal Gear 2. So let's see what we've got here. Now I know people say this game is a bit too Matrix-esque, it's a bit too ridiculous uh, compared to the first game. But I just kind of want to experience it for myself with the MGS2 kind of graphics and mechanics of it. I know as well that those mechanics kind of kill the original game. Like they just added them in without really restructuring the levels as you play through it. So it kind of doesn't gel very properly. But very properly. But. I just want to experience the game first hand. I've seen clips of it on the internet and yeah, I just want to kind of jump into it myself and and see what's what really. Gauge it for myself. Stay alert. It's, He'll be through here. I know it. It's probably I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Very much looks like Metal Gear Solid 2. This, yeah, I just want to try things out for myself and see what's what. And as I say, maybe turn this into my own playthrough series. We shall see. Here we go. It's just nice to not see it looking so damn blurry. That was my only main gripe with the original one on the PlayStation. It's just a shame it looked as blocky as it did because it plays really nice. It sounds good. This is Snake, Colonel. Oh, that's weird. Hear me, loud and clear. You've got the pictures the from the original game, like the but you've got the no codex setup no of Metal Gear Solid Two. You'll have to take the elevator really odd. To the I'm surface. surprised I didn't update sure the uh, the character pictures for this. If you need to, contact but they kind of look code. like they do in Metal Gear Solid 2. Is hey ho. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will oh, be. Oh yeah. So there's no select so button on a GameCube Press controller. The button and then the A you can't button push to the select the button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Ah, they even do the... So that's crouch. That's punch. Presumably that's shoot then, is it? First person view. Ah, cool. Right. 
like that. There we go. Cost so much more life than normal. Okay, in this corner, just in case he looks the other way. Oh wait. Nothing to see here. Go away. There's a ration somewhere, isn't there? Where are they? Nowhere. Cool. Oh, I'll have that. Alright, oh, yeah, that still works. Nice. It's all placed sensibly. to get anywhere near this lift. Huh? Get in there. Who's there? Oh, that was close. Is there somebody there? Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna be seen. <laughs> Damn it! Something over there. Who is it? Over there? Nice way of cheating that. Bye bye, guys. Nice. So, good job I did have that much more health because obviously, on the original version of the game, you get like teeny tiny little health bar. Whereas on this it's significantly longer. There he is, about to spot a couple of bothersome flies. Oh yeah, they keep doing their slow-mo stuff. Saw it there with the uh, helicopter blades slowing right down as he looked around. Get our first bottle of liquid ice on it. Twin stones. And I think that is where we will leave it for now. If you want to see more and maybe even a series of this on the channel, please let me know in the comments below. You can find me on Twitter at Rightly Wrongly or on Facebook at That British Guy 86. But until next time, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.